Hi, it's Trevor, and this is Discovering Gay History. I can feel something inside me say. Okay, so this video is all about Edith Ide. Her pen name was Lisa Ben, and if you say that fast enough, it sort of sounds like lesbian. What a badass. Uh, she was born in 1921 and she died in 2015. She had a very long life. And the more I read about her, the more obsessed I got. So Edith is uh, credited for being the first gay folk singer. And she was also the creator and writer for the first gay magazine, vice versa. Um, so she wrote parodies. Um, of popular music at the time and made them gay. Um, one of my favorites is like, it's a, a pretty standard song. It's called Frankie and Johnny and it's so good. Let's listen to a little. Frankie and Johnny were lovers. Lordy, but how they could camp. Swore to stick to one another. Just like two wet postage stamps, he was his man. But he done him wrong Frankie swished down to the gay bar To sip him some pink lemonade He asked, has my Johnny been in here? Was he caught in last night's raid? Ooh, he's my man Is he a-doing me wrong? So Edith was a secretary at RKO Studios. She hated the job, but it gave her a lot of downtime. And her boss was like, look, it's not gonna be very busy, but I want you to look busy. So just like find stuff to do. She was like, great, I'm gonna write a lesbian magazine. <laughs> and you had to be careful because this stuff was illegal. She would go to these gay clubs and hand them out to her lesbian friends. and. She was like, I've only made 10 copies, so don't throw it away, just like hand it to the next lesbian. So I'm gonna read um, some parts from the opinion piece. She was like way ahead of her time. She had these great ideas about what being gay was going to be in the future. And I'm gonna read a chunk of that here to stay. Whether the unsympathetic majority approves or not, it looks as though the third sex is here to stay. With the advancement of psychiatry and related subjects, the world is becoming more and more aware that there are those in our midst who feel no attraction to the opposite sex. Perhaps even vice versa might be the forerunner of better magazines dedicated to the third sex, which in some future time might take their rightful place on the newsstands beside the other publications, to be available openly and without restriction to those who wish to read them. But in these days of frozen food and female independence, there is no reason why a woman should have to look for a man for food and shelter in return for raising his children and keeping his house in order, unless she really wants to. She began writing for The Ladder, which is the first nationally distributed lesbian magazine. Um, and that's when she adopted the pen name Lisa Ben. And she lived to be 94 and died in 2015. That's it. That's it for this day's episode. I can feel something inside me say I really don't